discovery for myself because I was watching all the storms like a hawk. My fabulous team, without whom I could not exist back in New Orleans, and I then went back and checked out the storm that was personal to us, Katrina. The storms I interacted with six operators in the world. It's like you find the murderer of your best friend. But still, it wasn't until I went online to check on what the operator was doing and noticed that not only was it down that day, but we had 100% normal clouds with flat bottoms and all in a thick fog that lingered the following morning. That it occurred to me along with all the other evidence, oh my god, the entire hydrological cycle was hacked. And they write the same about a Google search atmospheric rivers because it seems to be more prevalent now. We hear about atmospheric rivers, atmospheric rivers. You know that term didn't exist on Google before 1988 Doppler rolled out? <coughs> and then the first term is in 1992 when they refer to it as a bomb, atmospheric river bomb. Now we get the Pineapple Express going through California all the time. They don't get any rain, but they get flooded. I asked whether we were going to win three times to tell me what he thought of the Doppler steering his firms around the eye. He's got I see, if you the question, and the third time he never got back to me. Now he's a ball. He hasn't put out a video since December. With Doppler radar interacting so directly with our hurricanes, why would he just focus on power plants? Maybe he's just a good explanation for why he left me hanging and now he's a wall, or maybe he just is just another gatekeeper. See, I don't know, but, but he gave me the most valuable, in my esteem, piece of the climate engineering puzzle, and the one that makes the most sense in regards to what I was seeing in my daily skies for myself. The weather was happening, damning. The, the weather was happening not just at home, far off in some far off facility in Alaska, Harvard, but locally as well. And this was the most damning piece of the climate engineering pie that contradicts the whole global warming narrative and why billions of dollars were spent hazing out the significance of water vapor. See, even gatekeepers can show you the way once you realize what it is they don't want you to see. So why all the gatekeeping and distractions from water vapor and Doppler and hurricanes especially? Because that is the Achilles heels for industrialists. It is the one thing they cannot hide or pretend is related to global warming. If you had found a way to hack the hydrological cycle, wouldn't you have sent your men out ahead of the narrative you were expecting to would ensue so that they can control the narrative, giving you half-truths and distractions that would keep you from realizing that yes, not only are some of our clouds artificially induced and laced with various chemical cocktails, but the entire hydrological cycle is hacked and is being managed via microwaves that heat up water or clouds and whatever else gets in the way. All that is needed for Doppler to heat up a cloud is for it to be left on one spot for too long. Something that is hard to prove intent on allegedly because proving that Doppler was left on deliberately is hard to prove. But taking the sum total of hurricanes that follow this trend of diving directly into Doppler in one season or over many seasons will make it a statistical in odd or impossibility that is unlikely to, to, be, to be matched naturally. And that is the trick to proving liability in court even if intent cannot be established. It would be foolish for me and my family to try and take this to court. As we all could guess what would happen to us if we did, but based off just the threats Facebook allows anti chemtrail activists, terrorists to make. I complained about this meme, it was left up while I was blocked for a few weeks on Facebook. It said, don't hit a chemtrailer with glasses, hit him with a bat. Apparently that makes Facebook community guidelines. That scares me. But a group of people outraged and recently made homeless by severe man-made weather could band together and demand accountability in safer numbers. All I'm doing today is showing you where your troubles lie, and you will need to do something about it. Do not think I have this. I do not. I've come further than I thought I ever could, just by being the kid and the emperor wears no clothes. By refusing to be bamboozled by snake oil salesmen. Until I get an answer that makes sense in my heart, my head, and my gut. 
I need you and others to step up, and thanks to all who do and who are here today. You are my heroes. We're in this together. Uh, we, we, no one's getting off of this. We're not going to Mars. <laughs> There's no escaping. So, while I know what I'm saying may indeed be hard to believe, even for those who consider themselves awake, you must realize that this is nothing more than what Tesla told J.P. Morgan Chase would, would be possible in the future after making fog so thick during this Colorado Springs lab experiments back in, 19, in 1899 that people couldn't see their hands in front of their faces. 1899. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a world of hot water. And before the technology gets further di diversified through the integration of more arrays, and that's harder pin to pinpoint and prove, we must cut them off at the pass, preventing the rollout of 5G, which will be more of what Tesla foresaw for the world, only at a micro level. And we must, while it is still possible to do so, hold them accountable for the storms we can prove or steered, and demand accountability, whether they want to claim it was done deliberately or not. Because we're not seeing weather interacting with Doppler radar and power plants, but what we are witnessing, we're not only seeing weather interacting with Doppler radar and power plants, but we are witnessing is the completion of the hacking of the hydrological cycle that Tesla said would be possible well over a hundred years ago. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the other speakers today and stay till the end for my Doppler timeline presentation as it's sure to have something you've never heard before. It'll blow a few minds. It blew my own mind while I was researching this. Um, it will add to our chemtrail timeline and uh, add dimension to our historical perspective. God bless us all. We need it. That was awesome. Beyond awesome. I love Raphael. Oh. All right. Next up is going to be David Gessner uh, from New Jersey. He is a truth messenger via his two websites, truthpirates.com and skycrimes.com. Out of the kindness of his own heart, David also created and manages my own website. I give you David Gessner, the truth pirate. Now I'm going history about me. Uh, in my previous life, prior to my awakening, I was an alternative fashion designer, marketer, website creator, and devoted uh, my time to creating and building an empire, uh, never looking into anything conspiracy related. Um, it wasn't until about 2008 uh, when a friend of uh, mine was saying how 9-11 was an inside job that changed everything for me. I had a friend that died in the towers, so I wanted to figure out what he was talking about. The outcome of my research led me to the realization that 9-11 was not what we were told, and that pissed me off big time, uh, so I began to research everything. I did quite a bit of research on anything I could think of. I soon discovered that everything was backwards and one big lie. Uh, my new life passion was and has been a truther for the past 10 years. Uh, last year, I launched truthpirates.com to make it easier for me to expose the lies, as I am terrible when it comes to explaining what's going on, especially considering the magnitude of the deception. Uh, Truth Pirates' number one target is chemtrails, followed by fake uh, healthcare, food, money, education, earth, almost 50 categories now, and another 15 are in the works. I am presently working on a new website, skycrimes.com, which is devoted to chemtrails. The platform will be similar to Truth Pirates, in which uh, it will be a portable portal to chemtrails information. I will also be uh, adding a user contribution section inspired by Amanda, using the Everyone Has a Voice theme, where other chemtrail truthers can have a page featuring their own message, images, and contact information. Uh, for the conference, <coughs> I figured chemtrails would be discussed enough. My contribution here will be what you can do to spread awareness and ultimately a change. Awareness, yes, people are walking around today totally oblivious to the daily spraying. Streaks from horizon to horizon, all over the sky, 
causing overcast conditions. It seems impossible that people don't notice. I don't know if it's the fluoride or the smartphones. It's just bizarre. Um, in addition to spreading the truth via the internet, I spread awareness in person. When I'm out and about and I see people, the sky is a mess, I will stop and take pictures uh, so others can see me and wonder why I'm taking pictures of the sky. Um, often people will come up to me and, and ask what I'm doing. Uh, when they do, it's the, the door is open to a conversation as to what is going on. Um, I try to explain what's taking place in a non-tinfoil hat way. I believe the spring is to modify the weather with the added bonus of curbing the population and creating health issues. However, I try, that, I try to avoid that for my opening as the average person will get instantly defensive. Um, the best approach from my experience is to say that it's chemtrails aka geoengineering designed to cool the earth by spraying all kinds of chemicals, including aluminum, barium, strontium, into the atmosphere to reflect the sun's light. If you aren't hip to the eugenics program, I suggest visiting uh, the depopulation section of truthpirates.com. Um, I also printed business cards for Truth Pirates and Sky Crimes, as it's just too much to explain in person. I always hand them out after an encounter and just leave them everywhere for others to see and pick up. I've brought some with me today to hand out in the cafeteria area. Uh, the key to any movement is numbers. We need to get people to tilt their heads upwards to the sky and explain to them that is not just water vapor. The spraying is hazardous to our health and all kinds of life in general. When enough people know what's going on, then things will change. Um, the power of one. What can you do? You're just one person. I've heard that so many times, it's like the most annoying thing anyone can say to me. Well, I guess it's good in a way that they do say that, because I like a challenge. The more crap I hear about not being able to make a change, the more things I will come up with to prove them wrong. The powers that be want you to think you are powerless. However, there's far more of us than, and they know it. Uh, uh, do what you can and use whatever talents you have. The easiest is to talk to family and friends. Remember that most don't have a clue, so try not to get into so much that you can come across as a nut, which is difficult for me, trust me. I've gone over the edge quite a few times the easiest when you're out and about shopping, the bank, the post office, people always comment on the weather and their chit chat. <laughs> the thing is, it doesn't matter if it's raining, snowing, sunny, cloudy, you can always incorporate chemtrails into the discussion. Um, you'll hear, wow, it's such a nice day. And my response will be, it would be a lot better if they weren't spraying us. <laughs> It sure is wet out there. My response, considering all the spray in this week, I'm not surprised. You see where I'm going. I let them know about chemtrails and follow up with the handing of one of my cards. I let them know that there's quite a bit of information available to check it out because it's just too much to get into to somebody and you just sound like an idiot anyway. Um, I started incorporating health related issues, issues into my discussions. Coughing, everyone is coughing. My response when I hear someone coughing is, no wonder you're coughing. There's been so much uh, spraying over the past few weeks, everyone has a cough. And I always get the response, what's spraying? Um, social media. Never let a weather comment go by without a response. Especially when the poster is saying how beautiful the sky looks, when all you see is chemicals. Yeah. Keep in mind when you post the reply, you aren't just reposting to that person who's uh, posting the, the message to begin with. You're communicating with the, all their friends and your friends. They all see what you post, so your reach is broad. Um, go out of your way. This is the most difficult way to spread awareness. Just stopping people and pointing out the sky, that's, that's hard to do. Uh, check out our 
event host Amanda's uh, videos for examples. Uh, Bye Bye Blue Sky is a great website to visit uh, for ideas for outreach programs and setting up meetups with like-minded people. I'm a guerrilla marketer, and in my travels, it's super easy as I just leave business cards everywhere. Um, you can also advertise, taking out uh, ads in newspapers, Craigslist, wherever. Just get the message out there. My favorite is t-shirts. Get yourself a chemtrail t-shirt. You will be questioned. Um, window decals, bumper stickers, super easy way to get people thinking. Don't think you're going to make, uh, I'm sorry, don't think you're going to wake someone up immediately. It takes time. You can only plant seeds. They will see the sky in a whole new light. Never again will they not notice. They will always question it. Even if they don't believe it, they will have it on their mind. Doing nothing is not an option. Thank you, David. That was awesome. Okay, next up, she's actually not in here, so we will have to bypass her. Maggie, are you ready? Well, and your people are in here. <laughs> okay, we got Maggie Kenya, and then it would have been Sean. So, do you know where Gina went? Is she ready? Okay, he's going to try to grab her. One thing I wanted to mention about is: is there any way you can keep that off so it's not, not on a little Cox uh, thing? For the library, we just don't want that as the background. Okay. okay. All right, give us five seconds for some seconds. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, Gina. Okay. If not, Sean, you're going to be up. Okay, you ready to go now? Yes. Yeah. All right, we'll bring you in then. I think I'll just put it here. I mean, I guess when you sign on the line, they'll pay you too. Right. Pay Ninja. <laughs> All right, next up is going to be truth artist Sean Walden, aka Ninja Scroll, uh, co host of The New Element with Renegade Smith. Uh, luckily, I've been on the show twice as their guest. There you go, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Right. Oh. Go on, Pat. We'll do it. Thank you. First of all, I want to thank everybody for coming out. I know a lot of you came from a far places like I did. I came from Jersey. I got some Jersey people over there. It's your room right there. Yeah, I'm like the entertainment, I guess you could say, but I will express some truth to you at the same time. Um, I know we got people from California, we got people from Tennessee, we got people from Canada, Australia. We get it in over here. You know, we're going to do it right. We're going to spread the truth from all over the world. So, um, I'm not going to come up here and give a whole bunch of uh, statistics and numbers because you're going to have plenty of that tonight. You've got plenty of researchers that are going to give you all of that stuff. Um, I do know about what we're talking about here, about the chemtrails, and I'm going to go ahead and just give a little, I guess we call it a spoken word. I am a hip-hop artist, so I will. It's going to be kind of like rap without music. If y'all know what spoken word is, but that's what you're going to get from me. So sit back and, and just enjoy it. All right, this is called Look Up. Agenda 21, depopulation, all in grades. It's all real, yet we are nothing more than pawns and simply slaves. To the system, they try to darken the light that God has given with milky white chemical lace smoke that fills the air we breathe in. Not believing? Just tilt your head back 45 degrees in. See it for yourself, I wonder. Why are we all sneezing? Congested. I feel a certain tightness in my chest, man. I'm constantly laughing, coughing up, phlegm again and again. I need rest, man. I see blue and white checkerboard skies, X marks the spot. They say they spray the skies that way so that it won't be hot. Global warming, the cause of it, man, they say is CO2. And the way they fix global warming is this, get rid of me and you. Is that true? Mm. Undesirables, 
Not everyone can have AC and cars. Just the rich folks, celebrities, politicians, and movie stars. Ask Obama. According to him, the whole world will boil over. He said that in one of his speeches. He claims his fact, and that is that they give us scraps leftovers. In conclusion, the chemtrails that we speak about here today is truly fact. You can see the plane with the nozzle that sprayed the chemtrails. Just lean back. That's it. Thank you very much.